Hi students. Today I'd like to introduce you to a, a motor control device called an encoder. In front of you is a small DC brush motor. That's the cylindrical section right here. And below is the optical encoder. The encoder puts out a set of 0 to 5 volt pulses as the motor spins. So every revolution of the motor outputs 500 pulses and it can be more or less depending on the model of the encoder. Let's start this up and look at the output. So you'll notice that there are three pulse trains. The first one is called the sync pulse or the home pulse. That pulse occurs once per revolution of the motor shaft. Below that are the phase A and phase B encoder pulses. And what I want you to notice about these is they don't line up. So if I look at, say, this edge and this edge, they're off by exactly one quarter of a pulse cycle. That's called quadrature. And what we can do with that is determine the rotation direction of the shaft. So if I take any two slices, and by that I mean bit slices, so a high and a low, and then come over a little bit, low, low, and I do an exclusive or logical function on those pairs of bits, then the exclusive or will give me either a one or a zero and that determines the direction of the motor rotation either clockwise or counterclockwise. Another thing I'd like you to notice is that these are 50% on, 50% off pulse trains. So these are not pulse width modulation. Don't get the idea that as I speed up the uh, duty cycle is going to change. And in fact, let's watch what happens. I'll increase the voltage to the motor. And you can hear the motor pick up speed. And you can see that the pulse width uh, got narrower. But it's still 50% on, 50% off. And the two pulse trains are offset by one quarter of a pulse. So if I increase the speed fast enough, we can actually get two sync pulses on the screen. So voltage is going up, going up, going up. And I'll increase the number of seconds per division. And there we go. So you can just see it. I have the sync pulse here that I'm triggering on, and the second sync pulse is here, and I have 500 pulses between this trigger point and the next sync pulse. So the quadrature controls, or rather indicates the direction of rotation, the pulse width indicates the speed and by using the zero reference or the sync pulse then you can actually control position of the rotor shaft. So, very neat little device. So I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you for watching.